Hi everyone, my name is Joyful Judy and thank you all for joining me. I hope your day is filled with good surprises. I'm going to talk about the word promise. The definition of, of promise means that something will definitely happen. It's a commitment to say, I will do this. It's declaring to a person or people, say, I'm going to commit and it will happen. That is a promise. Okay, now in life, there are many promises that have been broken. We made promises and people have made promises to us that has been broken. But God never break his promises. When he says, I always would be with you, he doesn't break his promises. Whatever he said, it must come to pass because he's God and he's not like us. He's not a man that he should lie. So he's God and his word is true. But I want you to read this. There's two verses about promise. In Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, it says, This is my commandment. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with you wherever you go. So God promised that he would be with you wherever you go. Believe it. God's with me right here now. And wherever you are, if you're a believer, he's with you. God is with you. That is God's promise. He said, he'll never leave us. He said, I will be with you. Remember, believing God is with you is, is a security of knowing that you're protected, you're loved, and he, he's loved you so much that he'll never forsake you. That's God's promises. And I'm going to read also in um, Hebrews 10, verse 23, it says, let us hold unnecessarily to the hope and profess for true promise is faithful. That's the King James Version. Let us hold closely. Let us close closely. Closely. I'm using an NIV version comes in. Let us hold close to us and as we profess for who promises is faithful. God promises is true. God promises is faithful. God is faithful to us. Even when we're not faithful to him, God is always going to keep his word. His word is alive. So if someone make a promise to you today and they're unable to fulfill it or they have a, a certain time they supposed to fulfill it and they didn't do it at that time, sometime they might change their mind doing on another date. That was a broken commitment that's supposed to be a promise. Sometimes people do things not on the day that they promise, but they do it later. See, God is the only one that can keep every word of his word that is a promise to us. God, God's word is true. It's, 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 it's greater than a promise. God made promises, but God's word is so good. God's word is holy. God's word is alive. When we speak it, we have life. And that's what it says in his word. We speak life and not death. God said, life and death is in the power of the tongue. So God says it and it's true. So we believe that. So God promises are for you and I to go forward and believe what he said. We may commit to something and um, something happened in our life and we can't keep that promise. And we may not even intentionally mean to break that promise but something just happened for example you may have promised to go visit someone and then something happened in your family you was able to uncle you had to go someplace to the doctor or the hospital with fact and not that you didn't want to keep that promise you see those kind of promises we make to each other, sometimes we're unable to fulfill those promises that we make to some. It doesn't make you a liar, a professional liar, because if you promised somebody that you was going to see them at a certain particular time and an emergency happened, that promise is different when someone says, yes, I'm going to be there, I'm going to do this, and they break it. That's a different kind of thing. Sometimes things happen unexpectedly, and people cannot keep that promise. Maybe later on, they will continue that promise on another day. You see, the word about promise that, that people say, oh, I'm going to do this and do that. But sometimes, you know, that's why God said, out of the, out of the, out of the mouth, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. Sometimes people speak 
um, kind. They want to do what's right. But when things happen, they cannot keep their promise. I'll give you another example of a broken promise. When people have a job and the father want to buy something for his son. And he says, son, I'm going to buy you a bicycle. I'm going to get it for you. And he says, you know, he's going to get paid. And um, he lost his job, you know, and he has bills. So it's not that he don't want to get the bike for his son. His financial situation changed. So he, he could tell his son, I'm so sorry I didn't get the bike for you at that time. But I will get it later. Sometimes things happen that circumstances, people have to change what happened. They want to, they, they can apologize. Now, there are people, when they make promises, they break it for their own ego. And they say, I promise I'll be there. I, you, I got your back and all these promises. And guess what? Those promises are broken intentionally. So that's a different way, you know. But in all, intentionally or deliberately or unwilly, not intentionally want to do it, they, they didn't mean to break their promise, we're supposed to forgive that. We got to forgive everyone. We have to forgive people and love people because God's promises are true. God promises always come to pass. God promises are always going to happen because he's God. So I'm grateful the word of God is true and we can rely on him. And even though man and woman may break their promises, God does it. So that is what gave me joy and it should give you joy that God never lied and he cannot break his promises to us. So praise be to God Almighty for his word and his promises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God Almighty. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Well, everyone, this is it. I want to thank you all for watching and listening. Until next time, keep your promise, everyone. I'm just kidding. Try to keep your promise, right, Katie? Try to do it, right? When you keep your promise, you mean it, right? Until next time, don't forget God is good. I love you. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching and listening. Bye.